Hey guys, today I'm installing Google Now onto my Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this method should work on any uh, ice cream sandwich uh, based phone that is running an AOSP ROM. Uh, I'm currently running AOKP, so that would work. And even if you're not running an AOSP based ROM, it may work uh, as long as you're running ice cream sandwich, however your mileage may vary. So to make sure it works, I would recommend having an AOSP based ROM. Um, Google Now is an application by Google that basically kind of collects your uh, data for your daily activities and based on that data will um, give you something they call cards to uh, assist you in your endeavors for the day. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain that way but um, let me give you an example. So say I'm using my phone and I'm browsing movie times, right? So I'm, you know, I'm looking at movies and I buy a ticket online with my phone to a movie. Well, Google now would have seen this uh, activity, and what it would do is it would give you a card close to the time of the movie with, say, uh, you know, Google Maps navigation directions to the movie theater that you bought the ticket to. So it seems like a really cool feature, and I'm excited to use it, and the, these are the installation instructions for that. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to I show you uh, a baseline of how the voice search functionality works without Google now. And another cool thing is by following the instructions, you also get like a preview of 4.1 voice search. So uh, I'm excited to use that as well. It's not the fully functional uh, Jelly Bean voice search, unfortunately. However, it's a cool little preview and it adds some functionality uh, that the current voice search for ICS does not have. So I'm going to show you what it currently works like if I was to use a voice search command. So what's the weather like today? As you can see, it accepts my voice input and makes me, or gives me a pop-up here with the complete action using dialog box, and it shows your browsers there. That's how it currently works. Well, let's get started here. To start with, here's the uh, XDA developers thread where I got uh, the applications that we're going to use today, and it'll be, of course, linked in the description. And the process of installing it involves downloading two apps. The first one is called Velvet V005 APK, and the other one is the uh, Jelly Bean Voice app, um, which can be downloaded here and here. Uh, once you have these APKs downloaded, the first step is to rename Velvet V005 APK to Google Quick Search Box APK. Now, why the developer decided not to just have it named Google Quick Search Box APK is beyond me, um, and I was thinking about re-uploading it uh, name properly to save you guys a step, but um, I thought about it and decided not to because the developer is probably tracking downloads on his mirror and that could be kind of a prick move, so um, sorry I'm not simplifying it further for you guys, but step one is rename that Velvet app to Google Quick Search Box APK. Okay, once that's done we just simply need to drop these onto our phone. So I select these and I'm going to drop them on the internal storage of my phone. Um, apparently they were already in, already in there. Uh, and okay, now the files are on my phone. Excellent. So once that's done, we need to use a file manager to manipulate these files. Now I recommend using Root Explorer. Uh, it is a paid app, but it is an extremely good app and it is worth every penny. So um, just go out there and buy it. it. It's I mean it's not too expensive when you have you know an Android phone and um, I highly recommend it. However, if you insist on not spending any money on apps, there is an alternative you can use. It's called File Explorer, and it is by a company called Next App Incorporated. Uh, currently, they have um, a root uh, application um, file manager beta going on that uh, you can use, and it'll be free until it's out of beta. Now, the reason uh, other file manager applications wouldn't work, like Astro File Manager, for example, is because you need to use the file manager to edit the permissions of the file. Now, technically, you don't need uh, a GUI file manager to do this. You could do it with the Android, Android debug bridge with some console commands. However, uh, I try to keep it simple for you guys, so uh, I would recommend using the apps unless you already know what you're doing, and that's the way my instructions will entail this process. Moving on. Once we have uh, the files on the phone, we're going to open up our file manager of choice here. And um, we're going to uh, 
go to the files we've just downloaded and um, for me they're going to be in the SD card directory because I put them on the internal storage of my phone um, as opposed to the ex it, which is where it's mounted under root explorer as opposed to the external SD card which would have which where they would be if I put them into the SD card directory from my desktop anyway um, here they are, Google Now Voice Search .apk and Google Quick Search Box .apk. Uh, one second, on my camera. There we go. And uh, so, step one, we're going to move Google Quick Search Box .apk into the system slash app directory. Uh, that's where all your system files live. Um, you know, so when you install a ROM, this is where all the applications go, and that would be from the root directory, which is just that slash right there, to slash system and then slash app okay and here are all our system apps and first of all we're going to browse to the existing google quick search box .apk, which you can see which is this blue logoed one right there and we're going to long press on it and go to rename and name that to .bak and the reason we do this is because we need to get rid of the old app first now technically we could simply delete the app however that's not really a good idea because if you ever want to you know revert the step you just did um, you'd have to flash an Android backup or the entire ROM again to get it back whereas this way uh, naming it from .apk to .bak means it loses its functionality but still exists on your phone so you can revert the process you've done and .bak is just the convention that Android uh, you know users use technically you could name it to .bak you know anything besides APK and it would work but ju we're just going to stick with convention here and name it that BAK once we've done that we've removed it from the phone uh, well not removed it from the phone but anyway what I just explained and we're going to paste in the new Google Quick Search Box APK application we're almost done here now we need to edit the permissions of this app so we're going to long press it again and go to permissions and here's our little um, you know diagram here of the various permissions on the phone and it's broken up into owner, group, and others. And owner has read write, group has read write, and others has read access. And all we need to do is disable write access for group. And to do that, we're just going to uncheck it and click OK. So owner has read write, group has read, and other has read. And those are the permissions we want. And the convention for uh, Android users would be dash r w dash r dash r. That's what this means. OK. Now I have the proper permission set in place for the Google Quick Search Box um, .apk file. And now we need to install the Jelly Bean um, voice search. And we're going to go back to where I dropped those files. And to install this, we're just going to install like any other third-party app. And to do that, we just click on it once. And we get the package installer pop-up and just click install. Uh, do I want to install this application? Yes, I do. Installing, application installed. And that's all there is to it. And all we need to do now is reboot the phone, and we should have the voice search functionality. Rebooting now. And once it reboots, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm going to let you guys wait with me while uh, it, my phone reboots, and that way I can show you what the Google Now and the Jelly Bean voice search applications look like. Uh, while the phone's rebooting, this is a good time to tell you that uh, in the description of the YouTube video, you're going to find the links, uh, first of all, to the XDA developers thread, of course. I'll also have a link there mm -hmm. to the um, File Explorer application if you want to go the free route, uh, the Root Explorer application if you want the best file manager app on the market, uh, and also I'll have a link to my blog which will contain uh, you know, a set of written instructions so you don't have to, you know, rewind the video and keep watching it if you just want an easy set of instructions to follow. And it'll include screenshots, I presume. And uh, that way you can just follow those instructions uh, and hopefully get it done pretty simply. And uh, I'm going to reiterate one more time that this will work on ice cream sandwich phones only and to ensure compatibility it needs to be an AOSP-based ROM. Um, as I said before, I'm running AOKP, which, uh, inc which has something uh, in, uh, embedded mm -hmm. into the 
framework that allows that, that has a widget. Uh, you saw at the top of the screen it was that Google search bar. Now, if your ROM doesn't incorporate something like that on every home screen, there is a widget on the XDA developers thread that you can download, uh, and that way you you can have something like this uh, search bar I have here uh, for the Google Now and the uh, Jelly Bean Voice Search. All right, phone should be booted and we should be good to go. So I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to click on the voice search here. And now we have this voice search for Google Now option instead of just Google and voice search like we had previously. I'm going to set to use by default voice search for Google Now. What's the weather like today? I think my phone was still booting up. <clears throat> Let's try it again. What's the weather like today? Looking for what's the weather like today. As you can, I don't know if you could hear that, but um, it said, it, it read what I said back to me. Um, so hopefully you can hear that. And here's what the Google Cards application looks like. Unfortunately, it's bright white, so the camera's going to pick it up very well. But you can see, instead of asking me to open up a browser, it, it has like a little thing here for my location with the, you know, temperature, which you can see unlike the rest of the cards. Um, but that's basically how that works, and uh, it seems pretty cool. And it, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty neat. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully that works out for you.